did like a Q&A, I did a, uh, a live. One of the funniest things is in the booth, there was somebody who brought, like, the luggage just full of, like, Nintendo games. And mostly all of them I've been used to and they were just playing them all back to back. I come over to playing Ninja Turtles, we're playing Back to the Future, Ghostbusters. And uh, it was just really funny just to see people actually playing the game and experiencing, you know, the Someone else just, yeah, someone else's frustration over what you just put yourself there. Yeah. Now, it seems like you've got popular on the internet. Where's the, like, the weirdest place that someone will stop and say, hey, are you? Like, just a weird, uh, like, location. Yeah, like, just somewhere, like, out of the floor where someone's on you. I was in a fast food place in, uh, California one time, and uh, somebody came up to me in line while I was ordering food, and he was just like, You're the angry dude, nerd. I love your videos. I was like, Whoa, I can't watch my chicken. I was like, Wow, that's awesome. Is that like one of the first times that you were ever recognized? That was, that was about over a year ago. I, that was when I did that interview on the trailers, and she pulled me out there, and uh, it, was, uh, it was weird just stepping off the plane. I was, I was only in California for like an hour, and I got recognized. That was probably the weirdest place. I mean, if I go into a game store or something, it's really guaranteed. But yeah. There's places where you don't really expect it, where it's, you know, it's just be, it could be anywhere. Like you could just walk into the video <laughs> store and kind of look up a movie. Yeah, I mean, it's rare, but it happens. Now, I have to ask you, my friend over here is a big Star Trek fan, so uh, if you love them, the better the better, and uh, we'll see you in the movie. You know that Cemetery Man? Mm-hmm. You ever see Cemetery Man? Oh, totally. Okay. <laughs> Is that a big influence on? Not really. I mean, the better the better was influenced by like the George Romero horror films, like Night Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, um, and the uh, Peter Jackson movies like uh, Bad Taste and uh, Dead Alive. Cemetery Man. If you read the plot to it, and it's like a guy who works in a cemetery killing people, it sounds like a similar plot. It's a completely different movie. The movie's like about like sexual frustration and like the guy who doesn't even uh, he kills zombies, but he like shoots them with a gun. It's like, and he doesn't even kill that many. It's not the main focus of the movie. Yeah. So basically, it's a completely different movie. But I get, I meant like, like just the basic premise of the physics movies, maybe. Not really, but I do get a lot of comments comparing and saying I'm ripping off the comments. No, I, <laughs> I know, but I was just addressing that because it's. Yeah. Cemetery Man's on the body all the time. Yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting. interesting. It's just a shame Michael saw that he can't make anything else good. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, it's some more horror. The thing is, I'm not as. Like, really, the only two horror films I don't think you can count Freddy vs. Jason, but okay. uh, in the city we got to see uh, American Werewolf in London. We got to see that with John Landis. So. Oh, nice. He, he, 2600 behind the camera, you can't really see him as a fake horror movie. Do you have a quick question you want to ask? What are some of your other major influences for film King Kong, the original King Kong, was like uh, one of my. Uh, it's, that's probably, it might have been like the movie that inspired me to make movies. I was about like 10 years old when I saw it, I think. And it's funny because I hear Peter Jackson say the same thing. He was like eight or somewhere around the same age. I've heard, um, I think John Landis say the same thing actually. And uh, all the time, it's always, it always comes down to King Kong. Ray Harryhausen, obviously, he was inspired by King Kong. Uh, so I don't know what it is about King Kong, but it's just very inspiring, I guess. It's amazing. Now, you do so much talking about bad games. This must be a question that you must get asked a million times. But what are some of your favorites that you do enjoy? Um, if you had to review, like, a good video game. Well, uh, I think on Super Nintendo, there was, like, a handful of them that were all in franchises, but they were, like, the best, I think. Like, uh, Nintendo established, like, Metroid, Zelda, Mario, those were kind of, like, the big three. And then on Super Nintendo, I think the, which was probably my favorite game, was, like, Super Mario World, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, and Super Metroid. I think those are... Those might be my top three. It's hard to pick, but now, what else? Uh, some of your like favorite games from like going back to the Atari games. Were um, you a big Atari game? Or was I was. Like, yeah. Uh, Atari the 2600 was one of the first uh, game consoles that I had. Um, the first one I had was uh, the Odyssey 2. And I had the Atari. And, um, uh, the games that I really played a lot. I played a lot of. Uh, Oh, there's so many of them. It's like uh, Vanguard, Stampede, Freeway. Freeway? Freeway, yeah. Just go around. Yeah, the chicken. 
Yeah, okay. Basically, father of Buck Ninja Reverse. Uh, what am I thinking? But I gotta thank you, James, for uh, taking the time talking to us. It's really busy. If you saw one more question, you can name some of your favorites. All right. Uh, George Romero. Uh, Albert Hitchcock. Uh, Ed Wood. Uh, uh, Steven Spielberg, actually. Uh, there's got to be a bunch of others. So, one last one. Did you see Diary? I haven't yet, actually. But I plan on seeing it. Definitely. It's a lot more like the original Night of the Living Dead. It's probably, it's, it's up, I'd say it's up there with the one of those. Yeah, it's not enough on my good things. And extremely polite. All right, so James, thank you very much for uh, taking the time. And of course, you can check out uh, all of his stuff over at Cinemaster.com. Not just the angry video game nerd stuff, but like stuff like Dead or the Better and everything else that you've done. So thank you very much uh, for checking out the video. We'll be uh, back with more. He's the movie boss, though. He's, like, he's got to tell him like, about all the, all the different stuff. So. I was expect I right there expected to be kind of garbage like the man's dead. It's an annoying sense of pain. Yeah, like uh, at first I, I it kinda of caught me off guard, like, oh wow, he's doing another one and then and I start hearing about what it is and what yeah. it's like. I was like, oh, this is kind of interesting. And uh when I heard just when it was the theaters, I couldn't find like a single movie theater that played it. And now that's out on DVD, I'm just too busy right now to check it out. But um it's like probably like one of the top of my list of movies to see right now. So that's good to know. Oh, it's very. It's he it went right back to the original idea of how looking at it. Just it breaks out and has it's very few on the beach, but he used very well. Way better than Outlander. Yeah, cool. a million times better. And and uh, actually, you know, very says I had more. It was an independent film. I could do what I want. I could change stuff on the spot. I didn't have to go to a producer. I didn't have to go to a studio exec. That's why I think I'm going to do this. That's why he thinks it came out a lot better than I did. This is pretty scary, too. It had some attitude moments. I, I never found any of his movies that were scary. Mm-hmm. Night Living Dead, when I saw it, when I was like 10, it was about the scary but <laughs> But not now. I never found it scary, just very entertaining. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. This one definitely has some suspense moments. I remember when I saw Lila the Dead the first time. I was, uh, I was like about 10, probably something like that. And I remember being scared to watch it just because I heard, oh, it's like the scariest things ever. And uh, I, I loved it, though. I mean, I still, that's one of my big influences, too. But um, I remember uh, when I first started watching it, I was like, kind of just scared. And I was like, oh, wait, this isn't that scary. But, uh, it's just the way, the way it's shot, and then the underlying political theme, yeah. which all of his movies. The one in Land of the Dead was kind of felt kind of tacked on, it was kind of cheesy. Yeah. How many people have left Well, that's the, well, that's the thing with um, the Diary of the Dead. It's very current, especially with all the cameras here, the internet, and the news. It's very. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> then I came here. Yeah, I was like, none of these characters are likable. But then I started getting them. I'm like, you know what? I actually like that. It's like the zombies are more human than the humans are. And, like, and none of the characters, everybody's just a shithead in that movie. Yeah. And it's like they're living underground. It's like such a dark, gritty movie. And it's so gory that um, uh, I think Day of the Dead has like went up, in my you know, opinion. I have to watch it again. I only saw it once. I didn't really care for it. Yeah. But I've been wanting to watch it again after seeing Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. Like at first I liked Dawn of the Dead the best because it was more fun. It was like they're in a mall and like yep. all this stuff. And then Day of the Dead, I was like, ah, uh, you know. But then I watched it like a little, like many years later, and then it grew on me. Okay, I don't watch more. <laughs> I just want any like popcorn and Yeah, I watch all movies. So. You're the he's, the, he's the one that tells me about. Oh, we just went out and he saw um, uh, the director's cut of Blade Runner. Oh yeah, I've been trying to rent that one too. <laughs> the box set's really expensive. Was it really? Yeah. Not that it's thirty bucks for a three disc. 
it's not like the briefcase that, that, that like he carries in the film. Well, there's like I think like five different versions of 